Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Sidekicks for Single Moms. I am going to give you my first impressions from working with Shipped. So I started with Shipped um, as I'm recording this. It was yesterday. Yesterday was launch day in my area. And I am, for those of you who may be new to the channel, first of all, subscribe because I have lots of good information and tidbits. So subscribe, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, I would say is share. Make sure you share this so that we're all not kind of going through this in the struggle alone. So uh, if you're not familiar with the channel yet, you'll know that I do lots of different side gigs by several different companies. And Instacart's one company that I have been with for several months, and I've enjoyed it. I, I like the idea of helping people out, shopping for them, etc. So that's good. Um, if you take a look at a couple of my previous videos, though, uh, Instacart is kind of is kind of shaking up a little bit. So. Um, watch the other video to get specifics about that. But so now there's a new guy in town. His name is Shipped and he launched in my area. So I decided, okay, you know, I'm an equal opportunity coin collector. So I decided to go ahead and try Shipped. Um, the, pre the video that I released previous to this, I talked about the event. Ship didn't just say, hey, here's a card, go shop for your customers. No, 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 honey. They had an event. It was nice. They wined and dined us, and um, they, we met some of the executives from the company, and they trained us right then and there. That was very good. So that was really my really first, first impression of Ship. the fact that they were first class, they were helpful, and they wanted to make sure that we, as much as possible, knew what we were doing when we got out there and we got out there in those ship streets. So um, one thing that I would say is, uh, let's, let's talk about the day in and of itself. So I signed up and I signed up to shop from 10 to one. So I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know whether or not it was gonna be back to back to back orders. I didn't know if it was gonna be slow because in my area right now, there is only a target that has an agreement with ship. So I said, oh, okay, so maybe, you know, we'll, we'll see. And so I went to Target because one thing that they stressed is that when they give you a window, so if the window is from 10 to 11, that's the delivery window. So they want to make sure you, sh you should have shopped beforehand. So. I get to Target before the window, and so I, I'm looking at the app, nothing's jumping off at that point, so I said, okay, well, let me take a look around Target, do, 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 do. and I did, I looked around the whole store, um, and I walked around the store for about an hour or so, and so I said, oh, rats, I guess this is it, I didn't have any orders that came through, and I said, well, okay, it's launch day, it's kind of slow, that's fine, and as I was on my way out, I saw one of the people, one of the full-time shoppers that was sent to my area to help with the launch. Uh, I had met her the night before at the ship launch party, and she's like, hey, how you doing, whatever, and then she said, oh, yeah, I have a couple shoppers come through, one girl got three orders, and I'm like, three orders? How did she get three orders? I've been standing here. She's like, what? So <laughs> she uh, said, well, we're not quite sure how the orders are assigned. We know that the other young lady who I got a chance to see and talk with, because um, I ran into her in the store, she came over to us. Um, she signed up to be a shipped shopper kind of a few weeks ago. I was newer to the process, so I kind of chalked it up to that. So we're sitting there, she's going over um, the young lady who, I'm not gonna mention her name, I think it would be okay, but I, I haven't gotten permission, so I won't mention her name, but let's call her the ship superstar. 
the ship superstar was telling me all of this stuff and it's like okay so when you do get an order here's what you do and go to the register and the folks at target may not know exactly what to do yet but we've gone through this a couple of times so that was super duper helpful to have somebody live in person and live in living color who can walk me through the process so then at some point if you if you're a shipped shopper or if you know anything about shipped you can look and see if there are any available orders like hey in this particular area in this metropolitan area anything available anybody's not picked up something and so i looked in the app and i was like wait a minute this is for this store <laughs> I am sitting here on shift at this store and something came up as an available order. And she, the, the superstar shopper was like, oh no, that's, that's not right. She said, you know, log out of your account, log back in. She said, first of all, snatch up this order. And I claimed it. Okay. That I claimed it. And then um, she said, all right, and then log out, log back in, and then call HQ because something's going on if they're not seeing that you're registered, that you're here in the store. So I said, okay, cool. I said, I'll do that after I finish shopping. So I went through, I went through the app. The interface was good. Um, it was easy to kind of, um, to, interact with it, it was easy to understand it wasn't difficult uh, I got some again help from the young lady superstar shopper she was there and that was super helpful and it you know it just takes anything that's new takes time and I have to be patient with myself because I'm the type of person I'm used to in my other uh, app based gigs I'm like here zoop Zoop, zoop, zoop. I'm, I'm scanning. I'm making sure. I'm concentrating. This <laughs> yesterday, I was a little slower than I would like, but um, shipped has let us know that kind of the policy is they would rather you make the customer or the member happy. You know, it's not about just about speed, and it's not just about um, trying to race race around the store. So I appreciated that. So that was my experience. Experience. And so after I got the hang of it, it was pretty good. And then it was time for me to be off shift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up for hours for tomorrow and see how it goes in terms of myself getting orders tomorrow, Saturday. So as I'm recording this and we'll see kind of whether or not I get orders coming in. If not, I'm going to log out, log back in. If that doesn't work, I'm going to call um, HQ because you know, according to my, my mentor, she said, oh, no, they'll, they'll be able to fix this. I said, okay, cool beans. So that's been my experience. Um, oh, also picking up hours, unlike another um, <clears throat> competitor ship, I didn't feel like I had to set my alarm clock, drink, you know, a gallon of coffee, and then be there ready at the, to get hours with shipped. Now, maybe at some point it might get that way. I don't know. But I do like the fact it's kind of an on-demand sort of um, app. They like you to sign up for hours. They like you to sign up for shifts because if you don't, the members can't order food. So if nobody has signed up from 10 to 12, but you're available to work, you're just waiting for a, like a general order to come through and you're, they will not allow the member to place an order to be delivered during that window. So, so I will go in for tomorrow. I'll kind of identify some hours and I will see how that goes. So some people have been asking um, if you have any more questions, go down into the comment box. I'm going to also leave a link for shipped if you are interested in becoming a shopper, a ship shopper. So far so good for me. Again, my philosophy for those of you who've been around a little bit, try it out for yourself. Don't go by what I say, don't go by what anyone else says kind of as as gospel. You need to figure it out for yourself. Um, so I'm going to put the link down there. Uh, make, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I will keep getting information, keep giving tidbits about this side gig life. So until next time, bye-bye.